Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of Four. And today I have three teams for you for the world event. Um, it's a spell and skull damage metal, um, but like always, you're going to want to do spell damage. There's like one troop you could use for skulls, I would say, but um, I didn't do that. I, would, I, did, I never go that way. I always go with the spell damage options because they're always so much faster. Just the easier battles, they can clear them so much quicker. It just makes up for time in the end. So, anyway, here's the team. This is the mid-range team. I got a mid, a high, and a low for you. This one's the mid-range. I think uh, King Mikhail is a good option, um, however you want to do it. I went with the Amethyst Band as my uh, hero weapon mana generator. Then we got Harpy Mage, who is on every one of my teams. So... If you want to start with the Harpy Mage and go from there, you're pretty good to go. Uh, it's a really good mana generator, especially you're going to be getting potions. You're going to at least get one or two potions. You're going to have that enchant potion. It's going to be a second turn in power. So you get two mana per turn whenever you have the enchant potion. The Harpy Mage starts with 75% mana. You then get your enchants, and um, you get that ma enough mana to get it up on your second turn. So... Really good troop. I think you should start with the Harpy Mage and go from there on any team that you do. But spell damage is king, especially with these metals. And um, unless you're just trying to have fun. If you're just trying to have fun, I get it. I would use maybe, um, what's the new, the Wrath of Mon with maybe uh, doomed the Doomed Axe would be cool. I almost did that. I almost did that just for fun. But I want to show the teams that are the best, not just like the funnest. So we got Amethyst Band, King Mikhail, King Mikhail, and uh, Harpy Mage. <clears throat> and I think you could do this in whatever order you want to. Like, if you want to put King Mikhail in first slot because it gets um, Enrage and maybe to get mana back into itself when it explodes a row, that would be fine. But um, I wanted to get the Amethyst Band up as quick as possible. Like, if I could somehow get it up on first turn and then use its explosion and get up the King Mikhail one turn sooner, that's what I was going for. <clears throat> and then I can't remember what class I did. I think uh, probably just Titan. Titan for the uh, Brown Storm that we have right now. Just to get up the King Mikhail quicker. So an Amethyst Band of all the exploding weapons. Even though it doesn't use like... Um, even though it's not like the right typing or whatever. It still gives like one mana. As one of its perks it gives like one mana to all allies. So it was the only one that had like a really good perk. Uh, so... That's what I went with, the Amethyst Band, and it was purple and yellow instead of, like, brown and yellow or red and yellow. So I crossed out, like, brown and red, and it was the best weapon left over that exploded. So, Amethyst Band. Sorry about my voice, by the way. I just had to take a drink of water there. Alright, this is the um, high-level team. So we got Dawnbringer. So with my restriction that I do to myself for these videos, on the high-level team... On the mid-range team, I'm not allowed to use Dawnbringer. I have to use um, Legendary and Under and no Dawnbringer or Dustbringer. So I went with um, Dawnbringer on the high-level team. So we can use yellow weapons, and Dawnbringer is a yellow weapon. Dawnbringer does more damage if you have all yellow allies. So we have all yellow allies. We got two Harpy Mages, so double the fun, right? And then we got a King Mikhail, because why not? Might as well help the Dawnbringer just in case you need a cleanup option and another, like, explody option. So I think Dawnbringer, King Mikhail, Harpy Mage, Harpy Mage would be, like, the no-brainer um, high-level team if you have access to everything, because why not? You can get a 50% start with a Dawnbringer. You got the Harpy Mage getting up on second turn. Two of them. So you're going to get your Dawnbringer up on, like, second or third turn, and bang, you win. So, you're winning on, like, third turn, second turn sometimes, first turn sometimes, and, and nothing worse than that. If you have to, you'll use the King Mikhail to clean up and to, you know, get everything going again if it's, like, a super-duper hard battle and you're in a crappy guild or whatever. So, I think using Dawnbringer with all yellow allies, especially since we have Harpy Mage, who's yellow, and we got King Mikhail as well, it's just they go really good together, these troops. So, I would say, if you can, use Dawnbringer if you're a high-level player. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what was some other options. There's some splash damage options, like, um, you know, there's a couple other weapons you could use that hit all enemies. Um, like I said earlier, maybe Wrath of Mom with the, with the, uh, 
Doomed Axe would be like a fun option if you just want to use Wrath of Mod since it's a new mythic. And you want to just go with Skulls because you're, you're tired of spell damage. Because doesn't Wrath of Mon make like a mix of Skulls and Purple and then doesn't the Doomed Axe turn Purple to Skulls? Like, I think that would be fun and work really well, but it just wouldn't be as fast. Like, it would probably be like, it would look cool, but it wouldn't, it'd be like one of those cars that look cool. It has like a really awesome spoiler on it, but it's not like super fast, you know? Like, if you like to drive the, the huge spoiler on it that just like has, sounds like a fart can, then that would be like Wrath of Mon with the Doomed Axe or something like that. Or, or... Or like a troop that hits one enemy, and then the next enemy, and then the next enemy, and then the next enemy. Like, it looks fast. It's got the huge spoiler on it. And it's like a Honda Civic, tick wing on the back, so it looks fast. It's got like some decals on the side, like a anime chick or something. So it looks really fast, but it's just, it just really isn't. Like a stock, like, lamp, like any stock, car, like, nice stock luxury car could crush it. Just like a Dawnbringer or a King Mikhail could just destroy it, but it looks fast because it's got like a huge wing and like some decals on the side. That's your uh, Rathamon, your, your Rathamon Doom Dax, or your Chris Hound, or whatever. That That's those. Alright, so here's the low-level team. Let's go with the weapon option again. Let's go with Dancing Daggers. We got access to yellow weapons. We have a yellow weapon that's really easy to get that hits all enemies. Dancing Daggers, and we just had the Vault Event, so there's really no excuse, because you were doing all your class weapons, right? Like I've said a million times before, if you're if you're an early game player, you, while you're doing the Vault Event, you might as well be getting all those class weapons, because you probably don't have Iron Hawks, you're probably doing Rowan, so you're probably equipping a class, so you're probably getting all the class weapons while you do that. If you forgot to do that during this past Vault Event, make sure you do it next time, because it's a really good idea to get all your class weapons during, you know, early Vault Events while you only have Rowan and no Iron Hawks. Because that's your time to equip classes, level up classes, get class weapons during the Vault Event. So, consider like, oh, I don't have Iron Hawks. Don't consider it like, oh, a bad thing. Because you're early game. You still need to level up classes. You still need to get class weapons. You still need to use Rowan anyway. So it's like a good thing that you don't have Iron Hawks, because you can then get all your class weapons, like Dancing Daggers, which hits all enemies pretty hard. So if you don't have Dancing Daggers, you probably didn't do the vault right, I'm sorry to say. But uh, we got Dancing Daggers, Herd Master, um, what's its face, Blade Dancer, and a uh, Harpy Mage. So two damage options, two options that hit all enemies, and then two mana generators. Harpy Mage, like on every team, and yeah. Those are my teams, high, mid, low. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.